Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to uh, do a video today about uh, Caden Live and editing in it and a specific bug I've noticed in which, was, I'm not sure if it's even fair to call it a bug, it'll crash when trying to generate a large amount of proxy clips. And I think it's just a resource constraint, but I think I figured out a way to stop that from happening. And I personally love Caden Live. I know it has a reputation as being buggy on Ubuntu Linux and it kind of is a little bit buggy, it definitely crashes, but having used DaVinci and Olive and all the other classic video editors, I've invested so much time in learning Caden Live that it just does, it basically does everything I need to do. So I'm kind of interested in fixing bugs rather than just abandoning it. So this is the one I've been having and it took me stupidly long uh, to figure out what was going on. So the way I typically use Caden uh, Live is, this is my video, my video drive here. So I go out, I shoot some video, and then I organize it into these uh, these archives. So this is from shooting at the beer festival last night. It's probably an archive of about maybe 50 clips, potentially even more actually. So what I would do is as I, as I say, oh, okay, I'll watch the video clips in VLC player. And as I need one, I'll drag and drop onto my timeline. Now you can see what's happening here. It stopped already, but the proxy clip was generating and that was creating an overhead. Now, proxy clips are great, especially if you're working on a fairly low resource machine like my one, which is an i3, and you're trying to do something like edit in 4K, right? Now this is fine. You can see the original clip and you can see the proxy clip and something else about proxy clips is you can actually uh, take that out of proxy mode and now you can see the resolution in my uh, preview monitor is, uh, is 1080p res, which is what I shot this clip at. Now the problem that I was having was that I was editing my video and as I was doing this, dropping in more clips, collectively, it was uh, this is why I have the resource monitor open here, it was just using up too much RAM. That didn't work, so I'm gonna just try to do this again. Importing to the bin. So now I'm putting the system under a lot of stress, right? Because it's gotta bring in this clip and keep the timeline going and it's just too much. And that was what I determined was leading to my crashes. So what you're supposed to do don't try to save time or make life easier. This is my advice anyway, regarding proxy clips by doing it all at once. I'm gonna just clear out my bin. What I found it better to do um, is just go to the folder that you want and I'm gonna just click okay here. Now you can see there's already some kind of bugginess happening in the sense that uh, it, should be, it should be loading now and my bin should be populating. So it's putting the system under more stress because firstly, Caden Life has to read the folder, then it's gonna to have to generate a proxy clip for every single clip in this archive, but you can see it's running through the job as a batch now, right? 67, 57, we're counting down. And if I just pop open this guy, again, is the system's a bit brittle at this period when it's generating proxy clips, but that's finished. And now, that wasn't too bad, that was like what? Um, I don't know, 10 seconds to get through this whole clip archive. You have to watch them now in Caden Live as opposed to in a third player, but we've separated out, we've already done the proxy clips and now they're just ready to pop into the timeline. So that's gonna just reduce the resource overhead on the CPU and the RAM. Uh, trust, well, it, I was gonna say trust me this works. Based on my experience since I started using this editing workflow as opposed to just generating proxies on the fly, um, this has, stopped the crashing and it, it, it took me like literally a month of editing to be like oh it's crashing every time i try to drop in more clips and it's doing the proxy thing on top of everything else it's doing so yeah this is um this is good and i also like really like pro proxy clips just because it does um it's another thing that'll reduce the uh the crashes of your system because you're just working with lighter files on the timeline so it's all about being uh you know being trying to be gentle with your CPU and your memory and not overload it at any one time because it seems to be that those bottlenecks are what causes the, the clashes, those literal, literal resource bottlenecks. Hope this video was useful and if you'd like to get more videos from me about Caden Live and other subjects, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.